Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Sorry this video's a couple of hours late. Uh, I literally just got home. Been out all day, but uh, I did want to make a quick video talking about this month's foot swap deals. So, uh, it is a new month. It is December, therefore we do have uh, a new foot swap uh, like promo going on, and EA have been kind enough to give us our first token, uh, which is going to be this guy, Villa Nueva. Uh, so basically, same as before, there are going to be up to 14 in total to unlock this is foot swap 3 as you can see by the little number above the player's head uh, and if you had any leftover from November they won't of course transfer over to December so you can't stock them up one month and then use them in another as you guys know by now but if you do find this video useful or enjoy it or anything do me a favor hit that thumbs up button that would be awesome so um Villanueva is going to be our very first free player. We get that one for free, which means that when I go ahead and move on in to squad building challenges, uh, and I'm yet to do Burteng. I'm actually going to be looking at doing him in a little while. He's got 20 hours remaining. It's okay, I can do that. Uh, and let's move on over to foot swap deals. Actually, first, is there a live one? No. Okay, so there's no SBC to get one right at this very moment. But if we move on over to foot swap deals, you're going to be able to see exactly what you can earn. Uh, and I am seeing a road to glory legend right here Kevin Lasagna if anyone remembers from like two or three FIFAs ago uh, he was my very first like random non-rare silver player that we had to just use right at the start and he got me like my first couple of goals on my road to glory that year so he goes down as a legend in my books uh, so that is the first player that we can get and that is going to be for four foot swap items which is what uh, Guila Voggi cost in the last month now it is the same as before where we have the silver player players pack which is repeatable uh, I like that they've gone is it a slightly different color change it's gone from like a turquoise to like the greens and yellows this time hasn't it I'm pretty sure uh, I think they change it up every time um, but yes uh, you can do a repeatable silver players pack if you want to so you can get all 14 and then get 14 silver players packs if you want uh, and that would actually probably net you a fair amount of coins I don't know if anyone's done that yet but I don't have the balls there's always a player that I want or a pack that I want that isn't silver players pack uh, but if anyone can actually do that, let me know how many coins you make back. That would be pretty awesome. Um, so then we move on to the packs and the players that aren't repeatable. You get a Electron Players Pack. That's really just for if you've got a couple of spare left over. Maybe you haven't done them all, but you've got Lasagna and you've got two two uh, foot swap items left. Okay, well, in my eyes, I would probably do two of the repeatable Silver Players Packs. Can't see anyone doing this one. Um, but Kevin Lasagna, let's take a little look at his... He's actually got four-star skills. He's six foot one. He's not going to be the worst striker in Calcio A, by the way. Uh, or Serie A, should I say. Of course, they've got the license nowadays. Uh, plays for Udinese. 91 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shooting. What are those in-games looking like? So, yeah, the pace is looking good. I'm not loving the fact that his shot power and long shots are so low. But he's got great finishing and attack positioning for like an 84 overall. Dribbling-wise, good agility, good ball control. Dribbling's actually quite low. So is balance. Composure's low. Curve is very low within the pass stat there uh, and then stamina and strength are very average so this isn't the sort of player that I would look to get even on the road to glory where he is a bit of a legend like I just don't see myself getting this guy no real need to him however if you did get El Sharawi this would be a strong link to him if you want and a six foot one striker with 91 pace is definitely not the worst thing you could possibly get on this game so that's one of your first options you could save up four tokens get them probably within the next few days in the next week uh, and get yourself a Kevin Lasagna now um the way that you're going to be able to unlock these, there was a little message in-game as it told you it was giving you your free player. Uh, firstly, it would be to like... Uh, get the free player and then it would be to do squad battles I think and normally you only have to get like silver three so you have to play like two or three games of squad battles a week uh, in order to get the free token there and we'll probably get two or three of them uh, and then of course we'll get SBCs and stuff like that along the way uh, and am I forgetting anything else what other ways are there to unlock foot swap players oh yeah daily and weekly objectives probably mostly weekly um, because I'm not sure the daily ones work so well in, in October uh, however like weekly objectives you know go ahead and score a whole bunch of goals with this player blah 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 or this type of player in rivals or whatever it is hopefully they don't make it just in rivals that would be uh, annoying to say the least hopefully they've they've understood that feedback that we want to be able to do it within any game mode and stuff however i understand that some things are a challenge next up if you don't want a player you could exchange five for a mega pack now five foot swap 
items is not going to be that difficult to get and a 35k pack's not too bad. We then move on to the next page and I see a second player here and I'm not going to lie, this is going to be... This is not a bad player, you know. Jefferson Lerma. Now, this is a Premier League CDM who has got all around not too bad stats, you know. Uh, how much does he cost? He's going to cost six foot swap items. Uh, so, again, very easily attainable. Probably just through, like, squad battles and weekly objectives, you'll easily get that. You wouldn't even need to complete SBCs, which cost money in order to get this guy. Uh, just spend a little bit of time on the game. All I'm seeing is that he's 5 foot 10, which isn't as tall as, like, Fabinho, let's say, because he's, like, the comparable CDM in the Prem, right? Everyone wants to use Fabinho. How does this guy compare? Well, three stars skills four star weak foot's good work rates are good height is lower uh, but in terms of in-game stats he's got very high stamina jumping interceptions aggression like those are some good cdm stats you know uh, and pace is not bad. It's great for a CDM. Like You don't need pace there. Shot power's great, uh, but you're not really going to be banging in goals with him, I doubt it. Short passing and long passing, actually not too bad. Uh, and then agility and balance are high for a player like this. Ball control, dribbling's low, composure's low. Um, but I don't know how much of composure stat really means for like a midfielder or anything. Uh, st strength is not the highest. Stamina is great. Uh, but yeah, with the right chemistry style, you could make this guy a bit of a beast. And of course, would would fit in most Premier League sides. Especially with two CDMs, you could use him and Fabinho. And I feel like you would be uh, well on your way to a successful squad right there. But if packs are more your thing, you could go for the rare mega pack, which is seven foot swap items. I think a lot of people got the combo of this and Guilavoggi last month. Month. I can't see that many people getting this one um, plus uh, the what was it? What was his name? Oh yeah, Kevin Lasagna this this month. I don't see that happening really, and that would only equal eleven, and you can get fourteen overall. Um, so you could go for Lasagna and Kazawa. Kazawa's going to be a good option, you know. This is a strong link to Neymar. Uh, which is very useful. Now, that's probably why he costs nine foot swap items, four star skill moves, six foot tall. I can see myself unlocking this guy. I'm probably going to want him. Uh, good stamina. Strength is all right. Like, he's, he's six foot tall, so I feel like he's going to be able to barge people out of the way and stuff. But a lot of those stats are green, you know, and the ones that aren't are like free kicks and long shots and volleys, which are just not important uh, for a left back on this game. I am very interested in... Uh, in uh, Kazawa now acceleration and sprint speed there's quite a big difference between the two stats there uh, so he might lose a little bit of pace over time but being able to get up to speed is a good thing uh, that stamina means it's going to last all game is this a contender uh, to replace like Alexandro on on my road to glory is that a possibility I don't really know so and of course a perfect link off to Kimpembe who's got a couple of really good cards on this game I can see a lot of people going for Levin Kazawa uh, from their foot swap items uh, and then well what could you get you could get uh, that plus a five what's five you could get a mega pack if you got all 14 you could get a mega pack and Lauren Kazawa. Like, that works. That just does work. I can see many, many people doing that. So, uh, we've got the Jumbo Rare Players Pack here, which is a 100k pack. And that is going to be available for 12 foot swap items. So, you can miss out on two, but still get yourself a 100k pack, which will be tradable as well. So, that's always a good option. And then the final one is going to be Kevin Gamero. Now, Gamero is 86 overall. That's a that's a pretty notable card, you know. Uh, let's dig on into his stats. Firstly, what sort of skills? He's got four-star skills this year. I did not know that. I actually thought he was three-star, three-star. Weak foot's not amazing. It That is three-star. But an off-the-bat item with 90 pace, 83 dribbling, 85 shooting. This is someone that you could potentially stick in your squad. Of course, plays for Valencia. I think there was a little bit of a visual bug on the entrance screen where it said it had an Atletico Madrid badge. But, of course, he does play for Valencia. So, uh, that is how you would get him. There are lots of great Frenchmen in this league. You know, you've got Griezmann, Ben Yedda. Uh, you've got Condogbia as well. And then, of course, all the defenders on the game that you can use that are French are, uh, especially in that league with Umtiti and uh, Varane, like great options to then start your team building and then and then move up to the French La Liga strikers. Uh, it's a very, very viable option. I'm not going to lie. In terms of in-game stats then, fantastic pace. And in terms of shooting stats, whoa, they're good. Uh, long shots doesn't really matter in my opinion because the finesse shots will go in no matter what. But that attack positioning, the finishing and shot power off the bat, that's very, very impressive. Oh, there's some decisions to be made here, you know. I kind of want this guy. 
I don't know. Who are we going to go for on the road to glory? That is the main question. Good agility and balance. Reactions, composure, ball control, all great. Dribbling's not so much, but you can boost that with a chem style. Jumping is good. Stamina is average. Strength is poor, but he's little. He's only five for eight, so I wasn't expecting a very strong player. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think he looks interesting, you know. This could be a very good option, but for me, um, better than getting all 14 and trading them in for a Camaro would probably be to get Kazawa and to also get the Mega Pack. I feel like that's going to net you some coins from getting a pack and then also um, get yourself this guy because, well, the strong link to Neymar, the perfect link to Kimpembe, all the great PSG players that there are, uh, and, and they don't normally have a fantastic left back in that league, so I feel like this is a, a decent option, you know. 82 pace, that's good. That's very well-rounded as well. I like the look of this player. Uh, so that's what's what for you guys for December, all of the info that you need to know, all of the things that are available. Um, do me a favor, smash a th thumbs up on the video if you found it useful. Let me know what you're thinking of getting down below in the comments section. Subscribe if you're new. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.